In this painting tutorial, I'm going to go over mixing oil paint. First off, you want to get together your supplies. See, we have them all laid out here. You've got your palette. I use one with a white background. It makes the paint easier to see. Uh, we've got our oil paint here that we're going to mix together. Palette knife. Scraper. This will be come in handy for cleanup. Paper towels, of course. And then our paintbrush and the mediums. The mediums are going to be what carries the paint, the pigment. And there, the oil paint straight from the tube has some medium in it. It's typically a mixture of the pigment and then uh, linseed oil or some other medium. Uh, next you'll want to determine how much paint you'll need for your project, for your painting. If you run out in the middle of the painting it's going to be a little difficult to get that color back, mix that color back again. So uh, it's, it's almost okay to mix a little too much. And the oil paint takes a long time to dry so if you mix up too much you don't use it all. You can always cover it up with a piece of plastic like I've done here and use it later. It doesn't dry out very fast at all. So first you'll lay out the paint. The color I'm mixing up today is basically a black, um, but I'm gonna, I'd like to add gray and green to my black to give it a little more variety. I'm using Payne's gray and then an olive green. I prefer to use 100% mineral spirits. It's cheap and easy to use. You can get it at your local hardware store or craft store, but there's a lot of different things you can use. Another option is Liquin. It's a quick drying agent that also smooths out the paint and makes it a little bit easier to brush onto the canvas. It's a little expensive. You can get it at your local craft store and look around there there's lots of different types of mediums you can use each one does a little something a little bit different to the paint just read the back of the bottle um, I prefer to use mineral spirits just because it's cheap and it does what I need it to do I've poured some out here already in my cup it's very flammable so you want to be careful with it the it's also got a lot of fumes they've got different varieties of it, low odor, odorless. You can find the odorless, go with that. Um, it's much more pleasant to use. But you want to make sure you have an air purifier when you're using this to filter out the fumes. Also make sure you've got windows open uh, and make sure your area is well ventilated. I like to dip my palette knife into the mineral spirits to get a little bit of the mineral spirits mixed in with the paint right off the bat. And I'm just going to go ahead and mix it all together. It's up to the artist's preference how much of each color you want to use. It just depends on what color you're going for. Mine's basically a black so it's pretty easy to mix together. You really want to work the paint well. Sometimes there will be little clumps of crust in there. You want to dig those out. You don't want those in your painting, or maybe you do. And once you get it mixed together really well and worked through like to get an idea of what the color is going to turn out to be, what I like to do is just kind of spread it thin across the palette. And you'll see, especially here with my green, and my gray, you'll see those subtle tones kind of coming through and that's what I'm going for. 